Hey everybody, it is Mike. It is Saturday, that means it is time for the Saturday Slashback Challenge. Uh, this is a fun little challenge that I invite everyone to participate in. Um, it is given to us by Joe at The Horror Man. Every week he gives us a new theme and we watch and review a slasher that goes along with that theme. Um, this week's theme was Italian slashers or Jello films. Um, I don't watch a lot of films that are foreign that I know of, um, but I have learned a lot from them by being on YouTube and listening to other YouTubers talk about horror films, and definitely Italian horror films come up a lot. Um, I will say that some of them I like and some of them I don't quite get, but that's okay. Uh, one that I do enjoy and that I watched not too long ago, actually before he put this out, maybe two or three weeks ago, was uh, Dario Argento's Tenebrae. This was a movie released in 82. Um, it was kind of loosely based on something that actually happened to Argento. Um, he started getting hate mail and death threats, uh, so he kind of used that in this movie. Uh, we have an author of horror uh, books that basically ends up starting getting letters and people around him get letters, uh, or, you know, he gets these letters telling him about, you know, things that are going to be happening and then they happen. So we have uh, um, Anthony Francisco and John Saxon, who are the lead guys, and then Daria Nicolette Nicolotti. Well, yeah, I think that's how you say her name. She's kind of our main girl, Anne. Um, so the movie basically is set in Italy. And we have these people throughout the film that just basically get killed, and there's usually some kind of litter. There's a litter that goes along with it. So we have this girl at the beginning, she's a little shoplifter, she goes home and is killed in her apartment by, a, we never really see who it is, um, and then he, stuff pa he stuffs pages of um, the author's tenebrae down this girl's throat. So, you know, there's some kind of connection between them, and then this whole movie is basically trying to figure out what that connection is. Um, and trying not to get everybody around him killed. So, uh, a fun movie. Uh, it's a fast-paced movie. The acting is fantastic. Um, the directing is really good. The special effects is fantastic. Uh, I really enjoyed most of the death scenes. They were pretty, uh, pretty intense without being fake. You know, sometimes. Um, as we've gotten into the CGI, a lot of the horror things have become fake looking. Uh, but yeah, I highly recommend um, Tenebrae as well as uh, Deep Red. I love that one. Um, the Bird with the Crystal Plumage is good. And really most of everything. Oh, of course, uh, Suspiria is another one that I like. Um, I would like to see his Inferno as well as a couple other movies that uh, that he has out, but um, yeah, that's the uh, my review for Tenebrae. I'm not not real deep review. Uh, I could go into you know how the the deaths and all that good stuff, but I, I think most of you kind of have seen Tenebrae if you watch the Italian. So I just wanted to put a little plug in there for my boy Joe. All right, guys, thanks. Have a great weekend and. Uh, Stay safe.